268. Are you all right, sir? I'm fine. Position on the Wessex is good, sir. XO, sir. I'm sorry. I'm ill. You have conduct, XO. I have conduct, sir. Sir, a green three zero range five miles. I have a tanker. Sir, that puts it on a collision course with us and the Wessex. Yeoman. Yeoman, XO to Wessex by light. Stand by to alter course to starboard by 15 degrees. Five degree steps. Ship will alter course on the XO's order. Make sure the lads know we're going to turn on the siren blast. Listen in! Ship's about to alter course! I don't want to see any slacking those lines! Keep the knee, keep the knee, keep the knee. Move the knee, move the knee. Started her turn. Sir? The Wessex is turning, sir. We have to turn. Revolution's 9 0, starboard 15. Turn! Turn now! We've left it too late. They can't hold it! Let's go! Let's go with it! I'm so sorry, sir. So am I. Do that if I was you. Oi! Are you Commander Brooke? No, sir. Chief! I'm. I don't care who you are. Clear off! That's okay, Buffer. I'll go first. Draw the fire. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, Captain. Sir? Don't worry about it. Is this your first ship? No, don't let it daunt you. The first day is always the worst. Oh, and, um,. Welcome aboard. Salute! Good to see you again, Martin. Nice to see you again, Tony. This is Jenny Howard, Acting Executive Officer. Welcome on board Suffolk, sir. Thank you very much. 
How much time do we have? As much as you need. Right, wait there. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm Miss Wilson, leading regulator. Follow me. Sorry. Coming, Captain. I thought I'd warrant a fully qualified exo. Ah. I mean, all she's done is mind the ship alongside for two months. Well, some may say all you've done is fly kites. Adams was court martialed. I was going. The last thing Suffolk needed was a vacuum in the command structure. You didn't have to resign, Tony. It wasn't your fault. You were ill. You handed conduct to Adams, the XO is required. The chain of events may absolve me, not the chain of command. I should have known Adams wasn't up to it. My job to know, I didn't. The young woman died. That's not the way you'd like to have taken your first command, Martin. But the Suffolk's a good ship. Jenny Howard's a good XO. She knows the crew, and more importantly, they know her, and they like her. She's old Navy, but she's smart, capable, and a good leader. And if you want to get rid of her, you will. You have the ship, Commander Brooke. I have the ship, Commander Glover. for living, so they give him a frigate a captain. But what do pilots know about ships? Nothing. Oh, so we've got some uh, Concorde engines. Yeah, we've got some toilets too. You wouldn't give the job to a plumber, would you? Hey, no, Dave. You know, you listen to those engines more than you do to me. Yeah, well, they don't lie to me, do they? And when you tell me you stole my chocolate cake, then you can talk to me as well. All right. What's up with you, Andy? Teresa? Nah, I never have kids. They don't talk to you either. They don't even bloody text you. Your first grandchild, he should be made up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's 19, she's got no job, she won't tell me who the father is. I tell you, I'm over the friggin' moon. Ship's company, up, caps! Ship's company, raise, caps! Three cheers for Commander Gladby! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Horror! Cut! Ship's company, up! Cut! Sir, I speak on behalf of everyone on board when I say it's been both a privilege and an honour to serve with you. Thank you, Buffer. The honour's been all mine, truly. Cock it up. Hey, what do you know, Scouts? You're not a real fish head. Just a bloody pillow fluffer. I reckon he'll be all right, you know. I mean, he's got to be a good officer. He wouldn't have got the job otherwise. I know what officers are really like. Us, you would see them in the wire fronts every morning. <laughs> yeah, just before you wipe their asses. This is still blank, no bet this week, then? A good bet is like good cooking, Scouse. That's why we haven't got one, then. <laughs> Do you want Pinhead? I'm working on it. Come on, make a wish. Come on. Happy birthday, Scouse. Yeah. All right, Grab me with you, need a man. I think they're all coming. Up, oh, stand by your bets. Get it cleaned up in here, Charles Chief. A new broom is almost certainly about to sweep clean. That's my report on H2, sir. I had to look at it earlier. Sounds a bit dirty to me. 
get our priorities right, shall we, George? Well, I do think we should rule it, sir, just in case... Uh... Yes, of course we should, but not in the middle of Captain's rounds. Is there a major problem with H2? No, not yet, Then sir. there's no need to strip the engine yet again on your whim, is there? There's sensible maintenance, and with you, charged, there's neurotic tinkering. Make myself clear. Yeah, there. Two white men is out of bounds for the next 20 minutes. Yeah. out. Shove that somewhere, will you? Come in. Take a seat, I'll be with you in a moment. Settling in, sir. Get in there. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a view that Suffolk will not be ready for first assessment in four weeks' time. I don't share that view. Suffolk can and will be ready. Obviously, sir, we'll do our best. Well, I take best as a given, M.E.O. Marine engineering has the greatest number of operational deficiencies. Is there something I should know? No, sir. All routine problems. Nothing we're not used to in this ship. OK. Well, I'll speak to you all individually in the next few days. Flag officer sea training. Won't want to hear excuses about one of our frontline ships. Nor will I. Now, if there's nothing else. Sir, could I have a word? Certainly, Exo. You know, I met your father last year. Great sense of humour. Good fun to jokes. But not an inexhaustible one. Sir, I'm fully aware that you have every right to expect a more experienced executive officer. Well, Commander Gladwin had no hesitation in recommending you. But given my predecessor, a qualified Exo was dismissed the ship. If I were the new captain, I would have reservations about someone who'd not been second in command at sea. He's saying you're not up to the job? No, sir. I intend to complete the qualification course as soon as I can. Well, we shouldn't leave my recommendation. Well, you certainly deserve a fair crack of the whip, Jenny. You'll either prove you're up to the job or you won't. Sink or swim. Fair enough? Fair enough, sir. Yes, Andrew. Yeah, right. Just before he gets back, yeah? Quick, sir. And you are? I'm new. I just arrived. Perfect. I'm Rosie. Yep, follow me. Four hours clear enough for Captain's rounds, then flyboy wants me to save him tea and stickies. I tell you, I was this close to telling him where he could stick his stickies. Right. Sure you want to be doing this after today? Well, it's not going to do itself. And that is relaxing. Not kind of. I can think of better ways. Harry? Under the covers, come on. Can't you talk to her, Martin? It's more than my life's worth. Good night, Edge. Sweet dreams. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 I got his daughter up the duff and then dumped her. Mate, you best not tell anyone. No, don't be silly. Bye, right, boys. Yeah. So, um, Dave is saying that he hasn't told you yet? Yeah, well, we're not talking, me and him. Come on, Dave, then. Get it off your chest. Chocolate cake and that. Oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, well, you got this fitness test coming up and I was worried, so, um... I'll take the cake. Sorry, Charge. Oh. Yeah, about bloody time, too. Oh, hey, watch where you're going. Tosser. 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 Let's start. My first wife used to call me that. Hey, hey. Grandma, just... hey. hey. it's mine. We're going. What do you mean? We just got here. Yeah, I know we're going. Get that down, you know. OK. 
cashed up with us then. We're out of here. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, small fry, mate. Trust me. This is going to be a night to remember. We're going sharking. I should be getting going, really. Okay. Now, me and Terry, we haven't spoken for a month. Janie would kill me if she was still alive. I told her, you know, since she was this, are you? You make one bloody mistake and. Andy, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, no, no, I know, son, you know. I mean, it's my mistake. I, I'm a bad father, but I'm not blind. No, it takes uh, two people to make a mistake like that. And, um... Oh, God, I should have told you this ages ago, but I just couldn't do it. You've got to look after Theresa. And it's, what, it's right for her. You're a good mate, you are, son. You enjoy yourself, right? I got this bloody run to finish. Oh. You're suffocating, yeah? And you? I knew I knew you. You're their buffer. That explains everything. You got something to say, little girl? Spit it out. You killed our officer. Oi, Tomo, this is the one that killed our officer. <laughs> Would you piss them too? There's nothing to see here. Move on. Go on, you big buff. Let's get you back on the ship. Piss sad old bastard. Yeah. You killed too. our officer. Right. We don't want any trouble, do we? Of course we want trouble. We're Wessex, you're Suffolk. Just call it a night, yeah? Oh, Bollocks! Right. Oh. Get her uh, out of here. There's nothing to do with you. Now! Come on, all right. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, That's nice, love. Where'd you get it? What happened to the one who... All right, Dad, OK? He doesn't want to know me. He was a mistake, OK? Just close the door after you go. It doesn't matter to me, love. You do. Just feel so alone. I wish Mum was here. I'm here, OK? I'm still here, all right? And as long as I am, you are not alone. You'll always be my little Terry, my little girl, always. I mean, you know, if you, if you were 60, I, I was... <laughs> Contact Bell and Red Two Zero. You're well out of your league, mate. Watch and learn. All right, what are you having? A drink, bevy I'm buying. A shot, sailor. Vodka martini. And an umbrella. Gas, gas. I'm gonna shoot, mate. Oh, wait, give us, um, give us five minutes. Give me two minutes. Come on, mate, it's my birthday. Even allowed out. Make mine a double, then. What's so, uh, two umbrellas, then? I'm Scouse. This is my exo, Michael Sabansky. He's gorgeous. Not bad, I suppose. Uh, it's your other bloke. Oh, the early flight, didn't I? There I was, Fifth Avenue, coffee in hand. More. Co <laughs> 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 mm. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful, Alex. Stunning. 
it's five hours slow. It's one of those cheap imitations, isn't it? No, no, it's not slow. It's the right time in New York. I meant what I said, Jen. It's not running away if you've got someone, some place to run to. If I get this job, I really want you to come with me. Ooh. I feel like I've walked into the middle of a proposal. Bad timing? No, no. I don't know if I'm ready to run away yet. I just want a chance to prove myself. I know. I can wait. I can't imagine us not being together. This ending. Shag him or hug him. If well, that's all you're planning, he's mine. <laughs> we could flip a coin for him. Poor Russian roulette. <laughs> Tell you, mate, they're fighting over me. Gas, gas, gas. I want to go back. I'm knackered. You what? Mate, I'm tired. I've got to be up first. That's pride and joy. After me. This is yours. These are heads. What are you tossing for? The crap one. <laughs> one of the cabins is tiny. It's always freezing in there. I can't believe this. You owe me big time. Come on, good show, Axel. I just don't want to cock it up. You won't. When we first met, you were worried how things would work with Harry. Now look at the two of you. Give yourself a chance, eh? Want anything else? Let dinner go down first. I know you've got a highly developed sense of duty, but it, it's not obligatory. You're turning me down. I'm thinking about it. I am never going to hear the end of this from Sue. That girl can hold a grudge for life. Longer. Uh -huh. My philosophy is... I don't know what my philosophy is. Act. Don't think. Because you never know what will be dumped in your lap. You just got to be ready. Mickey? Mickey? Mm -hmm. Got a headache. Yeah. Small cabin. There's nothing out there but quiet spots. You drop anchor and then suddenly the only sound in the world is the sea. I love that feeling. Best night's sleep you'll get out there. Once around the island, then. Go for a girl. Day, do you? What is this? Where are we? What have you learned to this in? Hey, I just wanted a kid. Blame the warrior princess. Claire, there. Claire, turn her about now. Chill out. Look, I know this great cafe in St. Helia. Jersey, off of. Scars for a drift, don't you get it? We're supposed to be on the ship. Don't worry about it. I'll talk us out of trouble when we get back, you know me. Maybe we should go back. Ugh.
First last night now, this. You're a real disappointment, sailor. Right, well, I've informed the captain we've two adrift. Find out who saw them last, Mum. Did you ever think what it must be like just to drop everything and quit? I don't think the scouts ever had a fault in his life. No, I mean... Ma'am? Yeah. It's OK. I'll see you later. Good, doesn't it? My dad said you always remember your first drive. Was he in the Navy, sir? No. No, he was a mechanic. I don't think this was the drive he had in mind, though. He wasn't wrong. I see you had a tryout for the Suffolk boxing team. You need to keep your right up. Fishing boats hasn't moved in the last 20 minutes. Got no nets down or anything. Well, he's either very friendly or he's in trouble. I knew there was a bit of navy in you. You wish. The engine's blown. There's a man still down there. It's hurt pretty bad. I'm a first aider. Right. Down behind them. Not the food, because I believe you. I've just been having a chat with the section heads about time frame for sea assessment. Now I want to know what the crew think. Well, four weeks isn't long enough. A lot of the way things have been going around there, I doubt it four months have been. <laughs> I was just going to clean that off, sir. Put me for a tenner. On me. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, if I happen to be there when that bastard who got a pregnant turns up, I swear. It's too easy, you need to be worried about it. But you're never ready for life's big moments, Dave. No worries, I'll make them fix anything. Polish people are very resourceful. What? Well, you are? No, last night I sat at that wine bar, every bone in my body said go back to the Suffolk. You are? It's always the same, innit? As long as you get yours, you're fine, innit? I don't think anybody got theirs, mate. Oh, look, just... <sighs> fix the radio. I mean, shut up, will you? You're worse than a couple of kids. They're still here, aren't they? No, it's just rats or something. 
and that's meant to make me feel better. That was no rat. Albania. Please, we stay here until they're safe on land. Okay, you're all right. You're safe now, right? Hello, what's your name, mate? He is Thomas. And he is Philip. Thank you. Hello, mate. Thomas, isn't it? Your mum, though, you're up here. Marco Polo, isn't ya? You do us a favour, you pass that screwdriver there, mate. Down, down, that's it, down. That's it, that's it. Lovely. Cheers. Not it, love. Kid's got more sense than I have. You could shoot me. Yeah, don't tempt me. Normal service has been restored. Quite, not quite. It's transmit only. We don't know if they're going to hear us or not. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is fishing vessel La Rosette. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! oh. No, I, I'm absolutely fine. It's just, it's just that he's on antibiotics. It's good as get another skill to fall back on. Because it's their job is seriously in question. Contact Solid Coast Guard, tell them we're responding. And that was Poland's answer to Garrett Solid Coast Guard, Solid Coast Guard, this is the fish and vessel they're upset. So, I've got a moment. We are responding to the stress call. Given that the range of a VHF set is limited to 20 miles or so, this is our position here, mm -hmm. which means that they are there somewhere. Somewhere. No power means a tidal stream will probably take them in that direction. The shipping lanes. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is the fishing vessel La Rosette. Domar. Require immediate assistance. Ten people on board need urgent Domar. medical attention. Engine is out of action. We've lost all power and adrift in position unknown. You've got an admirer. Yeah. <laughs> Ten people on board require immediate medical attention. Engine out of What language was that song? Polish. And then talk to me. Just got fed up saying Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. What was it about? It was called, um, a blacksmith or something. We are going to get through this, aren't we?
That's him. That's him. I'm looking for us. The radio must be working. Mayday. 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 Don't worry about that, bro. They found us. Hey! Joking. No, go on. Sir, looks like four, maybe five miles away. Contact bearing 230. Thank you, XO. Sir, there's a problem. Contact that ship, tell them they're about to run into a fishing boat. Yes, sir. Officer, we'll watch. Come up to full, full ship speed. bearing 230, range five Crash miles on channel 16. One Revolutions 170. Revolutions 170. Pass the repeated, sir. Brief me up. They say it's bad, like home. There's nothing to be scared of. Look, it's just a light. Be there now. Scramble aircraft. Scramble the links. Scramble the links. Maintain maximum speed. Hold all bets on the captain. We've gotten some better lucky. Sir, we have an electrical failure throughout the ship. We're dead in the water, sir. Yeah. Shit. Aircraft is down. Launch rib manually. Tell sick bay to prepare for incoming. Aye, aye, sir. If we're not already too late. Hey, come on. Hey, give it to me. Come on, keep going, keep going. Come on, we've got to leave. We're still enough. If you get out of here. Come on, everyone out of here now. Come on, how do you get it?
Charge. Vibrations in H2 through the whole lot out. It won't be long, but it may trip if we push How it. How long? We should be back online in ten minutes. Five minutes, ma'am. Five minutes tops. Thank you. F1 running correctly, Charge. Ah, good lads. Quicker than I thought. OK, looks like we're on. Come up to maximum speed available. Let's close the scene. Obey starboard telegraph limitations. Three zero ahead and three zero... Problem with H2, sir, causing overloading, which tripped F1. Charge has fixed it. Or semi or say. Nothing he could do, sir. ETA? Approximately ten minutes, sir. Tell me what happened. Well, sir, I'm sure you appreciate it. Can we speak in private, sir? Was there any warning of this breakdown? No, sir. Charge? I knew she was running too hot, sir, yes. OK. Would this have caused the system to trip? Well, it's a possibility, sir. Right now, it's all I can think of. Uh, I do think we should strip it. Yes. And, uh, the charge chief told me there was overheating. We were going to look at it at the first available opportunity. All I can say is we were lucky it wasn't worse. Thank you, charge chief, fellas. Will you excuse us? Sir. I don't feel lucky, Lewis. And I doubt whether the mother of that child does either. With respect, sir, you can't hold me responsible for that. No. You're the engineer and officer. I hold you responsible for the engines. A child died because we were delayed. As captain, I'm responsible for that. Do I make myself clear? Sir. Stuart Phillips and communicator Sabansky did absent themselves from Suffolk without leave. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty, guilty sir. sir. What you did was irresponsible and you deserve to be kicked off the ship without a second thought. Do you have anything to say in your defence? No, oh, sir. I find you both guilty of the charge. Although it does not and it cannot negate the serious offence of being adrift, I'm going to request in my report that you both be formally commended for your courage. You put the lives of civilians before your own. No captain could ask for more from his men. You're both fined 150 pounds. Second roll of the dice, gentlemen. Make the most of it. To be fined 150 pounds. Attention. On caps. About turn. Quick march. 
So, this is what it feels like to be a proper sailor. I could get used to this. Well done, mate. Real bloody hero. Heroes? You pair? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Sosa, take no notice, lads. You did the biz. Well done. That wasn't me so much. It's him. He's the man of the hour. Proper little hero. Thought it was a bit touch and go with the skipper there for a minute, though. But fair place for him. He's all right. So, what do you think? Can we be ready for sea training assessment? Well, they're a first-rate crew. They might need pushing and they won't like it, but they'll do it, sir. Good. Listen, I'll put your name forward for sea command course. And upon successful completion, all things being equal, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be Suffolk's so permanent exile. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm very grateful for the vote of confidence, but I'm... But what? It's just... I'm not sure my future is with the Navy anymore. I'm sorry, sir. I'll, um... You know, I guess some mistakes are worth making, eh? I don't suppose you've, uh... Janie? Is that so, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Please, just steer me out. The only way I can do this is if I just come right out and say it. I'm sorry. Life threw one at me and I wobbled. I've let you down, all of you. But I'm here now, Teresa. I'm ready. If you'll have me, that is. Well, there you go. Look at now, eh? All grown up. You know, I meant what I said, Terry, all right? You're always gonna be my little girl. That would be a mistake, mate. You bastard! All I'm asking from you is a chance to do what any father wants to do for their child. He's gorgeous. Probably a complete bin, though. It's not his brain I'm interested in. I can't take a year out and simply pick up where I left off if things don't work out. What, you need me to make you feel better and tell you that little kid didn't die? Just been hit by an exocet. And all because you lot couldn't pull your bloody finger out! Mm -hmm.